All right, we are here with one of my favorite bands. I got to talk to them way back in the day before they started blowing up. Ooh. Chicano Batman. Yeah. California yeah. Zone. So first of all, how are you guys doing? Because when I first met you guys, you guys were just bursting on the scene, a local band. You guys were doing small festivals, small clubs, playing to 25 people. And now you guys are playing at Coachella this year. You got a new album called Freedom is Free coming out. We just saw the single. Man, things move fast, huh? <laughs> Definitely, just putting in work. That's what happens when you just get to business and really just focus and continue doing what you need to do. Yeah, awesome. So describe your music. I mean, because initially you might think of you as a rock band, but there's so many other elements that are going on, funk and a whole bunch of fusion of other sounds. What are we hearing when we're listening to Chicano Batman? Bro, you all, you know, you, you, you know, everybody here has grown, you know, grew up listening to records that your parents have in their closets. Yes. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Juan Gabriel, Leo Dan, uh -huh. Los Pasteles Verdes, Los, Los Angeles Negros. <laughs> so all of us out there, I know that a bunch of you kids, you know, people my age, I'm 32 now, so we all grew up with that music growing up, like listening to like 80, what, 89.3 Recuerdo. Oh, you know? wow, that's the oldest station, honey. <laughs> like the oldest station. That's it, bro. Just, it's, about, it's about el recuerdo. It's about, you know, just, just love and passion. But it's just really about being alive and just trying to enjoy every moment that you're in. Right. You know, so that's really what, what our new album is about, Freedom is Free. Just and you make love with your music? Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the new single? Friendship is a small boat in a storm. I what? like that. But you know what? It was also kind of like, it's something you can be playing in the background when you're trying to mack it to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, wait, it's, wait, it's, wait, it's what a good that date. There must be some meaning behind that title. The whole meaning is like, you know, um, <clears throat> we all get into problems with our, with our friends and family. Mm -hmm. It's a small boat. Okay. Like, you know, it's like, it's always gonna rock. Right. Yeah. You gotta be careful not to fall off. Yeah. You know, and that's how life is, you know? Right. right. We're, on, we're on a small boat in a storm. So. And what about you guys? Are you always in a small boat in a storm, or how does it, <laughs> yeah, how does it work? work? <laughs> we're on the, on the van on tour. It rocks, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah we, gotta, we gotta take the water out. <laughs> does you that know? mean there's a lot of drama going on between the three of you when you guys are on tour? Because you have a tour coming soon, correct? Yes. Yeah. You know, we've been together for 10 years. Uh -huh. um, so and we've then? learned how to hash a lot of these things out. So I don't think even the it's all about It's all about communication, everybody. Is there a stormy one? from the three of you? Ooh. Like, uh, one that like, just is gonna like, slash out at me like, ah, I hate everyone, da da da, and make some more drama? We all Confess. Have we all have our Everyone moments. has their we moments? Have moments. Yeah. But some of them are more special than others. Guys too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. totally, no. totally. That happens between <laughs> us. But my man over here, the silent type, are you the strong silent type, or sometimes I'm you I'm not the strong, uh, okay. strong silent type, but um, no, we all get along. It's all like brotherly love, so yeah. it's yeah. just, you know, just like, your family members sometimes get on your nerves a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's just love that keeps us together. That's and true. the common goal of just trying to make some good original music. Now, is the wardrobe a big part of your look? Because I see in the video and in person, you're always very well dressed, and these guys are a little bit more laid back. What well, is there a reasoning behind <laughs> that? Front man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, we just chose our out outfits today. You know what I'm saying? That was just the look of the draw. You okay. Know? <laughs> but you like to dress up. But you know, the, the whole aesthetic of the band is to represent. Um, just that, you know, old records and old kind of like, is this like I said, that we could look like a group, like Los, like, From like Los Fredis or okay. something. You know what I mean? Like people see us and we, we kind of look like those guys in the cantina, like in an old movie. You oh. know yeah, what I'm you got the like, shoes going on and everything. I, I feel like you're gonna go in the cantina with the puertas que salen y se cierran. Así de verdad, con permiso, yo llegué. Y empieza la música. Wait, take us back a little bit, you know, because you guys really started from, you know, the bottom up, but you guys really started off as garage band, playing small clubs. Like, what was it like for you guys when you first began, and what did you have to do to get noticed at that time? Mm. It was just about, you know, uh, being persistent with our music and just being in the right place at the right time. It just, you know, the common thing, I mean, the, it's been said before, like, good luck and talent, I guess. Yeah. Um, I would say the big changing point for us was when we got Coachella and we got asked to tour with um, Jack White from the White Stripes. Wow. How did that happen? Yeah. I met um, Jack White at a concert backstage in Maryland. Um, his keyboardist, his name was Ike Owens, he's a Long Beach uh, superhero musician. He, um, he was, uh, used to be in the Mars Volta, and then wow. he ended up playing with Jack White. Anyways, um, he invited me to a show, and I went backstage, and I got to meet the crew. And, um, Did Ike, you drop him a, DV, a CD? Or no, 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 but they already knew about it, because um, <laughs> Ike used to rep our shirt all the time and our records. Anyways, Ike ended up passing away, unfortunately, oh. and um, 
we kept in touch with Jack White's people. His manager was real cool with us. And then he just told us, hey, you guys are playing Coachella. Jack White's going to headline Coachella. It would make sense if you guys go on the road and open up for him on this tour to Coachella. Wow. That's amazing. And you, I mean, the whole Chicano Batman personality helps, too. I mean, even before you listen to the music, the name, yes. Chicano yeah. Batman. How did you guys come up with that name? So good. It's Bardo. We could all relate to that. Are you we old Chicano, relate to... sir? I think of Not Adam West dancing the Watusi in this old 60s show. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You know, we grew up in LA, okay. so it's like you can't you cannot ignore the the reality that the Chicanos have created here over generations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mexicans have been living here, you know, since since you know uh, the Mexican American War. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Since before that, obviously. But um, so generations of, of Mexicanos living here, so we have that connection. You know, so no matter where you're from, you grow up with oldies. You know, mm -hmm. you you listen to Art LeBeau on the radio. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. <laughs> You know, and so we're all, we're actually all kind of like a mixture. Like I'm Mexican and, Col and Colombian. Yay, Colombian! So, uh, Yay, Mexican! <laughs> and he's Salvadoran and, and Mexican. So, so well, Chicanos by association, you know, just like me. I'm Cuban, oh, but I'm Chicano yeah. by association. Yeah, I'm just being here in LA. You're Colombian, <laughs> so you're Most not even Chicano. No, you're yeah. Chicano. Okay. And yeah. then where did Batman come Chicano. from? Ah. I mean, Batman is a superhero, right? And so it's like every everyone in this room, everyone everywhere has the ability to be a hero in themselves. You know, everybody has the passion, the drive. It's, yeah. it's innate in all of us at every single given moment. Um, and so it's just like, we're taught that, we're taught that we can't do that. That, you know, you and you, and you because you look this way or because you act that way, you, you, you don't have, you know, the, uh, you don't have what it takes mm -hmm. to become, to be on top, essentially. Right. So, you know, um, we just did this, uh, this commercial for Johnny Walker, mm -hmm. and uh, the name of the campaign is, is called Keep Walking America. And so oh, the whole point right. really is to, uh, you know, my cousin called me up from Fresno. He was like, man, I saw you, you know, I saw you on Facebook on this, on this, on this yeah. ad. But like that speaks volumes to where we've gone in this country. And now you're here on the Zoom. We got you for one more uh, segment. Yeah. So we're going to be back with more with Chicano Batman right here on the Zoom. Don't go away. I want to move on to something. Um, I know you guys are, are very heartfelt. And I mean, just the name Chicano Batman, you have a lot of pride in your culture and community. Now that Donald Trump is president, you're seeing all the protests happening. You're seeing these immigration executive orders. You've seen the things he said about uh, Mexicans who are trying to get into this country. What are your general feelings about that? Obviously, it's. Uh... It's painful to see that. We're all, we all know that it's painful. But you know what? It's just like out of that pain, you have to find strength somewhere. And the strength is inside. We all have it inside. And it, it's among our families and in our, among our communities. So really, it's just, it's just a point in time where more than any time, we have to connect with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to like just continue to make those connections on the street corners with, you know, with the, with the street vendors, with everybody that passes by us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, because everything is just how we we relate to each other on a daily basis. Just be careful who yeah. you find on the street corner, honey, because there's a lot of shady people there, okay? <laughs> it's whatever that. it is, okay? Yeah, just putting that out there. Let's just be kind to each other. Yeah. Okay. Let's just be kind to <laughs> yeah. each other. Well, I think Let's people, understand each other. People yeah, will you know? see that, too, and it'll encourage more people to do the same. And I It's think, all about in the vibe, right, the vibe right. that you put out there in yeah. the universe. And that brings us Bella. to one of our favorite segments that we do with our favorite guests. It is now time for Follow, follow on follow. <laughs> La totalmente nueva y completamente rediseñada Honda CRV 2017 con más tecnología que nunca y un nuevo interior mucho más espacioso y cómodo. La Honda CRV es nuestro sueño hecho realidad. Sí, que es All right, mi sueño so, hecho realidad. What, 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 what are you looking for? Oh, for Alfred, for Alfred. Um, follow. Oh, well, we'll do <laughs> no, that after the yeah, show. You'll yeah, do, you'll do it after. You'll make a mental note. So we're going to give you two people, two characters, two parties, whatever it is. You're going to decide which one you're going to follow, which one you're going to unfollow. Sure. First one, Wonder Woman versus Wolverine. The new and possibly last of the Marvel Wolverine movies is coming out. Meanwhile, you have Wonder Woman, who's the most hyped DC hero, who hasn't had a film coming up. Wow. And, uh, you know, are we following the old... The Wolverine, the Logan, the Marvel, which has been done a lot. Are we ready to hop on the girl power uh, bandwagon with Wonder Woman? Who are we following? Who are we unfollowing? I'm going Who's with gone? Wonder Woman. I've been. The, she's yeah. had a TV show out since the 70s, and right. she still has yet to have her own movie. It's about time they gave the sister a damn feature film. Hell yeah. Yes, yeah. Well Wonder said. Woman it is. Yes. Yes. Guys? Hey, no offense to Hugh Jackman, right. you know, all the fans <laughs> out there, but, you know, you, we haven't, we don't know, like, 
Wonder Woman that much, you know, and we want to see something. Yeah. But you know what else? Let's get you look like the Mexican, no, you're the Salvadorian? Colombian. You look, yeah. you look like the <laughs> Colombian Hugh Jackman, dude. Yeah, look at him. He does, he oh, has the facial hair. hair. You know, like. <laughs> what about you, my man? Huh, I think I would just stick with Wolverine. Oh. You know, Wolverine is just like a classic hero. He just has like, he comes from like this really rugged, you know, raw, upbringing and, and reality just kind of like on the he's kind of like on the outskirts of the pantheon and so it's like i'm you know, with you brother you know what i just realized he might look more like hugh jackman but like the old school wolverine yeah. you're like the chicano wolverine oh, you know yeah. all right hey. wonder woman wolverine <laughs> wonder woman okay she's hot martha stewart <laughs> she is she is martha stewart versus snoop dogg oh come the on the two bro. almost fell and star in their hit show martha and snoop's potluck dinner party should who sh and then they should part ways before season two who are we going to follow and unfollow oh my martha God. stewart snoop dogg snoop oh. dogg oh snoop. yes most definitely uh, I'll Keep go with Snoop because I feel like he's always kept it real. Martha's a little bit shady and she also went to jail, but we also, she had like that cookie cutter image, you know, but she went to jail. So I don't feel like she's real with everybody. You guys, Snoop is an institution out west out here, so <laughs> Snoop all the way. Snoop. Snoop. Yeah. I gotta go with Snoop, although I loved that VH1 show. I mean, it was a really good show. Yeah. Like, completely terrible in production, but that made it so good. You know, okay. like, you know, something happened to Martha Stewart after she got out of jail and she did some prison time, even though it was like country club jail. Oh, she's yeah. a lot cooler now. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's something that jail time will do to a person. They, oh, they get yeah. a little more street smart. I mean, Maybe she, she got brought down, brought down a planet Earth. <laughs> Thank you. All right, last one. Two people I've never heard of in my life. Ray Sremerd mm -hmm. versus Migos. Migos okay. has a number one hip hop album this year after America's love affair with the Manic and Challenge and Ray Shremmerd's Black Beatles are Ooh. already to crown Migos the hip hop king of 2017. I know that didn't make any sense. Not okay. because it was written wrong, but because I read it wrong. <laughs> Who are we following? Ray Shre. Am I saying the name right, by the way? Yeah, I Ray Shremmerd. Ray okay. Shremmerd or Migos? I would go with Migos. I've heard that song on the radio a lot and it definitely bumps. Migos. Migos? Migos. You know why you guys are going with Migos? Because you, like me, cannot, are not even sure that this is how you pronounce the name. <laughs> Ray Shremmer. Bruno. Migo, yeah, Migo, I mean, the song is better. You know what I mean? It's just, if you have to go with music, the song is, is better. So Migos, for sure. I watch both videos, and I like the other video better. So I'm going to go Which is the other one? With Ray Shremmer. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what would happen in the video no, with Ray Shremmer? No, I prefer his video then. Why? Uh, was it sexy it was, or something? Uh, yeah, it was more like clubby, and the Love other one it. was oh, more street not dancing. Not sexy. She's got two to pick from, honey. That's Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, listen, you know what? She always has two to pick from, sometimes three and four, and that was follow, unfollow. Yeah! <laughs> La totalmente nueva y rediseñada Honda CRV 2017 es nuestro sueño hecho realidad. I want to, wait, before we go off, I want to backtrack a little bit to uh, what we were talking about with the Johnny Walker ad and the whole, you know, immigration Trump thing. What was the, jo so was the Johnny Walker ad about just everybody kind of finding their way and having their place here? Definitely. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's it. I mean, you know, just promoting diversity, right. you know, also obviously, you know, uh, bringing to light like a un, you know, uh, unrepresented community, really. Listen, you're getting yeah. in the system to break it in from the inside. Whoa. Okay? Was that sexual? Yeah. Chicano Batman. <laughs> Infiltrating. <laughs> All right. All right. Sounds sexual. All right, listen, guys, we're good. Dennis, you both. always take it's it away. Take our guests. Guys, thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. Thank you.